Alright guys, welcome back. Here we are. No Estus and gotta kill two more fatties before we get our reward. So there's the fatty that knocked us off. She's not very nice. That's okay. I'm gonna try to get a charged heavy off on her. And now she's dead. Awesome. Now we have one more fatty. Thing to be aware of, the Sigbrow is a healing item. So, very good to use in this type of situation when you are out of Estus. So, there is the last one we have to kill. Let's see if we can do it. Shouldn't have a problem. Oh, she's going to throw. Yes, I got the backstab. It's a good day. And went off without a hitch. Excellent. So come outside, go up the stairs. We're going to grab the Flynn Ring, which if you are not a knight and you wear no armor, this is the ring for you. You get more damage the lighter you are, so the less stuff you wear, you do more damage. It's not extremely noticeable, but if you have a character that is basically naked, you definitely want to be using it because it is worth it. I think it's more worth it to have armor, but if you're running a character that's not supposed to have armor, then, well, that's what you're doing. Okay, grab your Homeward Bone, and then head on inside. So we're going to do some platforming here. You see that ledge right there. There's Glowy all the way at the bottom. If you drop all the way down, chances are you're going to die at this point. So you want to jump and try to land on that thing. It's a very easy jump. If you're super concerned, you can take all your armor off which I will do just because I don't have much health then you just Geronimo! nice so made the jump and you just walk off and we're good so grab the mirror vest and trousers and then roll through these boxes and get you the chloranthy ring chloranthy ring it's a really great ring raises stamina recovery speed so just you expend some stamina and then stop and it'll just come back a little bit faster it's pretty noticeable if you just look at your stamina bar uh, before and after um, the more experience you get the less it matters because you get good at controlling your stamina consumption but for right now any beginning player would want to use it and honestly in the early game there's not a better ring for this type of character so I'm gonna go ahead and put my put my gear back on not the mirror vest my gear, the night gear. Back on. And then I'm not going to fight all the stuff to make my way back to the bonfire. I'm just going to homeward bone out. So just bonfire last rest of that. Okay, so looking at my notes, I did put down that now that we have that pale tongue, we're able to proceed with the quest so we are going to go back to Firelink. we'll level up um, and we are going to talk about consumables then we're going to go get ourselves the red eye orb which is how you invade other people we do that by killing a dark wraith all right so Let's do it. Okay, so first of all, level up. I'm going to a point in endurance then you're going to want to run up to the main throne as always I always like to talk to this guy gives you a couple of things as you progress through the main storyline we got the lift chamber key so now we can kill the dark wraith Okay. Um, yeah, I guess now is as good a time as any to show you guys where 
the uh, NPCs that we just got are. So we got Yol. Yol comes down here. Yol's quest line involves him drawing out your true strength. So he does sell stuff. And with any quest line NPCs, always make sure you click talk. Sometimes they'll just tell you random stuff, but other times they will actually give you uh, necessary stuff. Um, so you, you select draw out true strength, and you get five free levels. However, once you do it one time, you get hollowing. Hollowing just makes your character really, really ugly. Um, you have to die in between. You have to die twice in between each uh, time you draw out your true strength. So really, not a problem. It's not hard to die twice, especially for a new player. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this just because it is the easiest quest line to mess up. So I will demonstrate it for you guys. So just draw out your true strength, and then um, a little bit later, I'll show you at which point, if you aren't dying, you should just let yourself die enough times to draw your true strength and get all five of your free levels um, go ahead and buy anything you want from him because he's going to be crying for a little bit but go ahead and give him Loretta's, bo uh, Loretta's bone so there you go um, and then he's going to be hugging himself and crying for a little while and then the pyromancer we picked up Cornix is here gives you a pyromancy flame and sells pyromancies and also reinforces your pyromancy flame speaking of reinforcing now we should be able to upgrade our our uh, claymore a little bit more so make sure you go around upgrade your claymore got it to plus two so it's pretty beefy damage and then there's a key that she will begin to sell. And I forget what the trigger is, but that's okay. So now we have the lift chamber key, so we're going to go kill a Dark Wraith and get our Red Eye Orb. So to kill him, uh, I don't have one of those. Uh, you go ahead and you travel to Tower on the Wall. Pointed out this door to you guys uh, when we were going through this area the first time. Oh, in my notes it says, in order to get the key from her to progress um, and save our good friend, you have to uh, kill the next boss, which is fine. We'll uh, do that next. So, we'll get that key in just a minute. First, we got a Dark Wraith to kill. Dark Wraiths, they can drop their set. Uh, you can't farm this one, but there are a couple Dark Wraiths that we're going to encounter in a little bit that you can farm stuff looks pretty cool you'll see a lot of guys wearing it and their sword if they drop it is one of the most overpowered swords in the game god these guys are a great example of dark souls making sure that you don't get overconfident Ugh. come on just bonk your thing on my there you go you just l always let these guys actually hit your shield and rebound and then kill them. Okay. So, down this ladder, I'll have to kill one more guy. This guy. Hello. Circle. Charged heavy on the get up. Nice. And then lift chamber key. Go ahead and take the lift on down. This guy's not a tough fight. Um, he's got a grab attack that will absolutely obliterate your health at this point in the game. So try not to get caught by that. He also has a really funky shield that totally blocks magic. Um, we'll be able to buy his hand as long as we follow Yol's uh, quest, so we'll be able to get his stuff. But the best tactic for these guys is shield up. Oof. And oof, that is the grab attack. Do not let that hit you. It's a very oh, they got that long reaching stab, covers a ton of distance. Oof. As you can see, they do not stagger. 
Well, they can stagger, but their poise is really, really good. But we got him. All right. And he dropped stuff. Hopefully, he dropped his sword. He did not. He dropped his gauntlets. That's okay. I'm not going to put on his gauntlets. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to homeward bone out of here. You can just run back up. But I'm going to go ahead and head back to Firelink Shrine. If you've never invaded and you're playing in offline mode because you're scared of PvP, I would highly recommend uh, trying it because the first thing you'll notice is that most people are not good at this game. And it is level controlled, so you're not going to run into some crazy monster of a character. Um, but yeah, so once you kill him, um, actually make sure once you kill him, you come back and you talk to this NPC. He will applaud you, give you the gesture. A lot of people like to sarcastically use that online, which I am very much a fan of. And then come on back to the dilapidated bridge. So in the next episode, we will uh, go ahead, clear through to the boss area, open it up, get ready to attack and then we'll prep for the fight and then I think the boss fight will probably be its own episode because it's not a hard boss fight it's just a it can be a long one yeah so yeah we will end the episode here so yeah thanks for watching guys